Good morning, this is Mike. Welcome to my workbench. Today I'm gonna to talk to you about a fairly simple measuring device that can be supercharged, supercharged to allow it to do things that you probably never thought possible. So what this is, this is just a standard machinist ruler. Um, it's pretty bread and butter, it's stainless steel, it's got etched markings. So it does one thing really well, it measures. But it's got these two little appendages on here and these little things give this ruler superpowers and it allows it to do repetitive measurements. So what these are, they're called ruler stops. And they're simply just a little piece of extruded aluminum that has a brass knob here and you can slide them onto the ruler and then you can lock it down at any measurement and then you can actually use this distance to do repetitive measurements. So it doesn't take much pressure here. I just, I just tighten this down just slightly. Look at that, just slightly and I cannot move that ruler stop. And also that little brass knob um, is softer than the stainless so it won't mark the edge of your board. So let me go ahead and show you a couple of things that this ruler can do. The first thing is that it can find the center of boards much faster than measuring. So what I do is I just set my ruler stop to what it looks like approximate middle. And then I take my ruler stop and I will mark the center from one direction, one mark from one direction, and then I'll mark it from the other direction. So what that does is that is now giving me two lines. So now I know that the center of this board is right in between those two lines, much faster than measuring and actually much more accurate. So let's say that you want to find the center of this board here. I will set this thing to the approximate middle. I just guess here, I'm not even, it's not even a science here, I guess, I put it there, I mark it. I come from the other side, rest it against there, I mark it. Now I take this other one that I just set a minute ago and I put it there and I mark it. And then I swing this around here and I mark it again. Oh, it's not, it's kind of wheelie. So now I know that the center of this is right in between those four lines. That is the quickest way for me to find the center of any piece. You can also use it if you're late turning. You could set this up to where it's gonna find the center of square stock. So you could set this here, and then I could just go around and make four marks. And it just so happened in this case, I actually set it up almost exactly in the middle. Now I have the exact center of that stock. Um, you could also use this to set up drawer pulls or knobs. Like let's say that I want to put a knob that's two inches from the bottom and I'll set the other side to do another dimension and one inch is one inch from the edge. So now I can set this thing down here and I can make a mark and I can make another mark. And then I can do this for a whole kitchen with one device. I don't have to measure and, and worry about inaccuracies. This is done. So let me give you a project that I actually used this on. This is a hand screw clamp that I made not long ago. I made several of these, so there was, there was some repetition. But first of all, I had to mark the center of this thickness here. I set the ruler stop in and I marked in from each edge. So I had the center in this dimension. I used, and I had this on the same ruler, I set up another stop to mark the center and the width, which was a different dimension. And I marked the center and those were all marked. And then I had to drill four holes, one, two, three, four. So I, take two, I took two ruler stops and I set up a stop for the first hole and the second hole. I marked them all. I did one hole here and I flipped it around and did the other hole. And then I set up another stop to do these other two holes. So I had this whole clamp marked out in record time with, with, these, with two of these ruler stops. And there was no way I was going to get, there was going to measure wrong because they were set. So these ruler stops give a, a standard machinist ruler superpowers to do things that no ruler can do, other, no other ruler can do. So these are available at taylortoolworks.com or taytools.com. They are on sale now. You can get a ruler, stainless steel ruler etched, two ruler stops for $9.99. Come on, people. This is a great deal. You need one of these. So go to taytools.com, pick one up or two up and increase your measuring or take your measuring to the next level.